Burns, a geology professor with Portland State University, says a number of the buildings that have collapsed are very old and made from brick. The difference in the Rose City, he says, many of our buildings have been retrofitted over the last 30 to 35 years and are built with stronger material. More than 20 years ago, Turkey passed building codes to make sure new construction was strong enough to withstand a major earthquake. But the ones that have collapsed are the older buildings. Now, according to the city of Portland, there are 1600 buildings around the city that are considered unreinforced masonry buildings, and that means they wouldn't be able to withstand a major earthquake. A lot of those older buildings would not do very well in the big one, the 9.0 that we would have here that we are preparing for. That's why we're going around and rebuilding all of our high schools and, and eventually all of our grade schools uh, in the Portland area and all up and down Oregon. The state capitol is in the middle of getting retrofitted. It's a huge project that's not expected to be completed until 2025. Burns adds, while we are due for a major earthquake here in the Pacific Northwest, it's important to make sure to have an emergency kit filled with water and food just in case.